Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. Today I am here with a new video after a long time. In today's video, I am going to discuss about this module which is a 16 channel multiplexer. This module can be used to increase the number of input and output of a microcontroller. There are many pins on this module and we will learn what every pin does in detail. This module does not come with the header pin soldered. I have soldered the header pins to use it on a breadboard and give you a demonstration. So first let's learn what every pin of this module does. This is the module you can see all the pins are marked at the bottom side all the pins are marked from C0 to C15 total 16 pins and at the top side here all the pins are marked uh, the rightmost pin is marked as ground this this connects to the negative power supply and the next pin is connect marked as VCC this connects to the positive power supply then the next pin is the enable pin which enables or disables this module when we connect this to the ground or negative power supply this module is active and when it's connect to the positive power supply this module gets deactive then we have four pins which are marked from S0 to S3 these four pins are selector pins this selects which pin gets connected to the signal pin this signal pin connects to these 15 pins as per the selector inputs this selector input follows a binary truth table. I will show that in a moment. For example, if S3 is 0, S2 is 0, S1 is 0 and S0 is 1, then this connects to C1 pin. The signal pin connects to C1 pin and rest of the C pins are not connected with any part of the circuit. If all the pin selector pins are 0, that means all the pins are connected to the negative power supply or ground, the C0 pin is connected with the signal pin. If we give any input to the signal pin, we will get output from the C0 pin or if we give any input to the C0 pin, we will get output from the signal pin. So this works as a one pole 16 way switch where the output or input pins are selected via the selector pins. Now let us move on and check the truth table of the selector pin how the output is selected. As I was saying, when the S3 pin is 0, S2 pin is 0, S1 pin is 0, S0 pin is 0, that means all the selector pin values are 0, the signal pin connects to C0 pin. Likewise, when S3 0, S2 0, S1 0 and S0 is 1, the signal pin connects to C1 pin. In this way, when all the inputs, the selector pins, all the selector pins are 1, that means all the selector pins are high, then the signal pin connects to C15. We will see in a practical demonstration. So the advantage of this module is we can connect only 5 pins to the microcontroller and get 16 numbers of input and output from this module. 4 pins as a selector and 1 pin as a signal pin. Now if we want the outputs to be high when the selector pins change, we need to connect the signal pin to the positive power supply or the VCC and if we want the outputs to be low when we change the selector pins, we will connect the signal pin to the ground pin. And if we want to change the signal pin value, then we have to connect this to a microcontroller. Or if we want this to use as a input module, then we have to connect the signal pin to the microcontroller input pin. The only disadvantage that this module have is we can connect only one C pin to the signal pin at a particular time. We cannot connect to multiple outputs or multiple inputs at a certain time. But with a higher speed operation in a microcontroller, we can achieve that. So that is the theory part. Now we will see the demonstration of this module. So here I have built a circuit on the breadboard. I have used an Arduino Nano for giving the switching signal. Uh, I have placed one switch just by pressing the switch it will increase the binary value one by one and the binary value will show in these LEDs. This one is the S0 output, this one is the S1, this one is S2, this one is S3. And you can see I have only used the Arduino Nano's A2 to A5 pins to connect to the selector pins of the multiplexer module. One thing I forgot to mention that this multiplexer board 
works in digital and analog in both modes. I will show that in the demonstration. So first let us place that, place the module in the breadboard. So it is connected. I have connected 16 LEDs from the 16 pins of the multiplexer and I have taken as I said 4 pins from A2 to A5 for the selector pins S0 to S3 and I have connected the signal pin to the positive power supply so that the outputs always remain high. Now I will connect the power supply. I will give the circuit diagram in the download section as a download link in the description box so you can download the circuit diagram and you can uh, build it of your own. So I am not wasting much time with the details of the circuit diagram. It is very simple. I have connected the 16 pins of this module to the LEDs and LEDs are connected with the negative power supply via I220 ohms resistance and the signal pin is connected with the positive power supply. Then the S0 to S3 pins are connected to analog A2 pins to A5 pins of the Arduino Nano and VCC pin is connected to the positive power supply, enable is connected to the negative power supply and ground is connected to the negative power supply. And I have used D12 to D9 pins as a binary output to show the out the selector pin status with the LED. We could have connected the pins with the with these pins A2 to A5 pins. We have used the analog input pins as output pin here. We could have connected these LEDs here but the circuit would get complex so we have used separately four pins for the displaying the LEDs. Now I will connect the power supply to the Arduino. Actually I have connected it with my computer. See initially all the outputs are low that means all these pins are zero. So the LED that is connected with the C0 pin is now glowing. Now I will upload Arduino sketch so that we can increase the binary value one by one and see the change in output. I am moving on to my desktop. So this is the Arduino sketch. I have used one button pin that is handling the push button. Then this LED pins, then selector pins. I have used the analog input pins as output in the Arduino Nano. Then define the output types. And then here if the button pin is high, then it will increase the binary value by 1. Here I am converting the uh, decimal value to binary value and setting the output accordingly. So this is the sketch. Now I will upload it to the Arduino. I have already selected the port and the board. So uploading is done. Now let's get back to the circuit diagram. So here I am back with the circuit diagram and you can see even after uploading since all the selector pins inputs are zero. So the C0 is selected from the signal pin. Now if you can see I have connected the signal pin with the positive power supply. Now if we connect it to the negative power supply this will not glow because this pin C0 pin connects to the signal pin as a switch. So I am connecting it to positive supply again. Now if I press this button the binary value will increase one by one and you can see this LEDs will move I will LEDs will move one by one. I am pressing it for one time. You see now the binary value is 0001. So C1 pin is connected with the signal pin and this LED is glowing. Then moving next 0010 and C2 is connected with this LED. So this LED is glowing. Likewise, if the binary value increases, the output will move one by one. At the end, when all the selector pins are one, it is connected with C15 and C15 pin output is glowing. Again, all zero, so C0 is selected. So this is one mode, the digital mode I am showing you. Now if we want to see the analog mode, 
I have another sketch in the Arduino that will show you the analog mode of this module. So I have to upload a new sketch. Let's check the sketch. So this is the sketch. I have used here a PWM pin. Pin number 3 is the PWM pin in the Arduino Nano. And rest of the code is almost same except that I have used a fading code that fades and unfades the LED. I will upload this sketch to the Arduino. So I am uploading this sketch to the Arduino. Uploading is done. Now let's get back to the circuit. Since we have used the pin number, digital pin number 3 as the PWM pin, we will change the connection for, for signal pin. This is the signal pin. We will change the connection to digital pin number 3. And you see this pin is fading. So it is working in analog mode. Now if we press the button, the next LED will be selected, the next pin will be selected and the fading will continue. So by this example you understood that all the pins can be used as a analog output pin. I will give the Arduino sketch for downloading in the description section. So you can download the code from there. So this is for increasing the number of output pins. Now I will show you how we can use it for checking input using this C0 to C15 pins. I will only show one pin, but you can connect 16 number of input devices to this module and the output from those input signals will get to the signal pin and we can take the output to any input pin of the Arduino from signal pin. So let's move on to the input selector part. Now we have changed the circuit for showing the input selection. We have used two input devices. One is a button, a push button and one is a potentiometer for showing analog input. And this one will show digital input. We have connected to pin number C1 to the push switch and we have connected pin number C3 to the potentiometer and the middle pin of the potentiometer is connected with C3 and the two sides of the potentiometer is connected with the positive power supply and negative power supply. And we have connected one LED with the signal pin. From the signal pin we have given supply to the positive pin of the LED and the negative pin of the LED is connected to the ground pin. Since we have not used the Arduino inputs, we need not to update any new sketch. The previous code will work for selecting the selector pins. Initially, all the selector pin inputs are zero. So the C0 pin is selected, but as nothing is connected with the C0 pin, the LED will not glow. The potentiometer is in high position. The LED will not glow, but when we press the input selector key, the input changes to 0001. Now C1 pin is connected with the signal pin. Now if we press this push button, the positive power supply from here connects to pin number C1 to the signal pin and goes to the LED and this LED turns on. But the potentiometer will not work now. Now we are pressing the selector button once. Now the binary value becomes 0010. That means pin 2 is connected with the signal pin. So nothing happens if we press this button or if we change the potentiometer value. Because C2 pin is connected with none of the inputs. So the signal pin is connecting with C2 pin and it is not getting any signal. Now we are again pressing the selector button. And this time the LED glows when the input is 0011 because the potentiometer is connected with the C3 pin here and the potentiometer is in high position. Now if we decrease the value of the potentiometer, you see the brightness of the LED reduces. So you see this module works in both digital and analog mode. We can connect the signal pin to the Arduino inputs and we can connect multiple input devices to get their values. 
just by using only 5 pins we can select 15 input devices using this multiplexer module. So I think the concept of this 16 channel multiplexer is clear to you. If you have any further question, please feel free to ask me in the comments. I will definitely try to answer your queries. Today up to this, we will meet again in a new video. If you like my video, please hit the like button and share it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel RG Innovations. Till then, bye bye, take care, have a nice time and thank you once again for watching my video.